Okay, so this is the second video that I'm doing for the HTC Fuse made by AT&T. Uh, the first video I just kind of gave a brief overview of the phone itself, uh, but there's a lot of those videos already online, so I wanted to do something a little bit different, and I wanted to show off what I think are probably the three coolest features on the phone, at least in my opinion. Um, so if you remember from the first video, if you watched the first video, um, I talked about the FM radio that's on the phone. And I didn't have a way to show it off before because it requires the dongle that comes with the phone. Um, it's made by HTC. It's included with the phone and it has the USB adapter that goes into the phone. And then it has a couple different ports on it. Um, there's one for like charging and data sync. And there's one for um, the headset. And then I think this might be for television. I haven't looked into it yet. Um, and then there's another different type of headset connector there. Anyway, lots of connectors in this one, but the one we're interested in is the headset and the one that goes into the phone. And then you also are going to need a pair of headphones, which I have here. And this is the business end. And that's going to hook up into the dongle right there. Okay, so we can show off the FM radio real quick. Let me get back to the programs and scroll down. So here's the FM radio, and as you can see, it will not load up. And I'll let you see the menu message thing there, and it lets you know that you can't use it. Okay, so we're going to take the dongle with the headphone adapter attached, and that goes right into the bottom. And we have to hold it up because now it's not going to be resting flat against the ground. And we're going to hit retry. And it's going to check it. And it appears to be working. Let me bring my headphones over here so you can hear. All right. Yeah, everybody loves the Beatles. And if you can see down here, you can see there's a presets menu. Um, when you first loaded up the, the FM radio, it went through and scanned all the stations that it could find. And it loaded them all down here. So we can go down to presets. It'll bring those up, and you can scroll down through those, and we can bring up another station. You kind of jump through your presets here. And there we go. So the switching works pretty well on this. It's it's pretty quick. Um, I'll move that away so it's a little bit easier to hear. And there's lots of options, so you can actually flip between mono and stereo is one of the options available. Um, you can mute it. That's going to stop the sound from coming out. And then you can also change from the headset, which is where it's coming out before, to the back of the phone. And now it's coming out from the speaker that's on the back of the phone here. Okay, so that is the FM radio. Pretty cool. Um, obviously, FM radio is not Hugely impressive nowadays, but nonetheless, it's a cool feature to have. So we'll unplug the horrible dongle that's getting in the way of everything. And we'll move on to the second feature, which I thought was pretty cool. And it is actually using the GPS unit on the phone. And it's the Garmin Mobile XT software. Um, it works with the GPS that is in the phone, and it worked right out of the package. And... It just worked fantastic. So it has all the normal functions of a GPS. And as you can see, you can go to the map screen there. And you can kind of choose your different you know, favorites and things like that. You know, Anything that you would normally find on a GPS is here. Um, I did a, a little bit of testing with it, and it works almost perfectly. Um, I guess the only small complaint that I had was that the voice was just slightly behind. Um, compared to what you'd get with a standalone unit. But really, I mean, for an extra added feature on the phone, it's pretty cool to have. Um, so that worked really well. And because I'm not driving, I can't really show you know, how it works. So you will just take my word for it and try it, for, try it for yourself, for sure. And we'll exit out of that. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to show off, I also mentioned before, it was the remote desktop feature. And... That is right here. I have already loaded it into my shortcut program screen. And if we just click on that, I can get to my network that I already set up. 
And there's my home theater PC. And I'll slide it out so we have it in widescreen mode. Um, but as you can see, I mean, every everything's there. It's a little bit small. Um, but, you know, what are you going to ask for on a, on a little tiny phone? Um, but pretty much everything works. I haven't tried this yet, so let's go ahead and see if it does work on the fly. And it looks like it does. Let's go ahead and... Sure, let's update everything in Firefox. Why not? And there we go. Click continue. And looks like it's loading up. So, that worked pretty well. And we'll minimize that. So as you can see, the remote desktop works pretty well. Um, that's about all there is to it, so I'll close that. And you can tell that the processor is chugging away because it's using Wi-Fi and, you know, the remote desktop is pretty resource intensive and it's actually getting pretty hot on the back of the phone. So you uh, might want to limit your, your amount of time that you're using that for. Um, but anyway, those are, in my opinion, some of the coolest features that are available on the Fuse. And you should check them out for sure.